What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over some things. We're going to go over what you guys should be doing in My Team right now because honestly, there's a lot you should be doing. There's a lot you should be doing with your MT. And yeah, before we get into the video, make sure to drop 100 likes on the video, guys. Just smash that like button. If you smash that like button, I will drop a really, really good MT making method. So make sure to drop that like button. Please, that'd be really appreciated. Before we get into it, obviously follow the Twitter. And we're going to run this ad. And yeah, before we get into everything, bro. If you didn't check out my Antetokounmpo gameplay, please go check it out, bro. That was honestly, took me like a couple hours to make a lot of edits in the video. Pretty interesting gameplay. Obviously, I'm a huge Giannis fan. But it was all about the Antetokounmpo bros. The triple threat trio, absolutely unstoppable. You guys should honestly run the triple threat trio because that is my favorite trio I've ever ran with ever. They actually are so good together. They're all lanky and long and they get so many steals and they all can obviously dunk. So, whatever. So, I want to talk about a couple things. What you should be doing in my team right now. First off, I want to start off. Honestly, I was grinding triple threat. And um, honestly, I have been running with one squad and one squad only. And it's honestly the best squad I've ever ran with. So I've been running Mellow, Ping Diamond, Giannis. And this card, in my opinion, one of the best cards I've ever played with in 2K history. Um, He's around 140 to 150K. I got him for 120. This Tyler Hero card is insane. Um, I literally can't believe how good he is. I actually think I green every shot with him. I, I, I can't. If you need MT, you need tokens. My tokens were at 40 yesterday. I went through, I think, two boards. I'm at to 120. So if you do the math, about two hours to get 80 tokens. 80 tokens is around 80,000 plus MT if you do the math. So honestly, pretty solid. You also get free packs. You can get your MT up a lot off Triple Threat too. You could probably make like 20K an hour if you're lucky. You could even make more than that an hour. So, in my opinion, Triple Threat is probably one of the best things you could do right now in the game. Everything else, um, anything else, Spotlight Sims, obviously, they're not bad. I mean, I haven't done any. I don't plan on doing any. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll do one a day, but by then, Opal Harden will be done. I want to get Opal Harden so bad, but I'm not going to grind for him. It's not worth it, in my opinion. My team's already this good, and I still have all this MT, so... Let me think. Um, we got the auction block. Let's talk about the auction block. So, honestly, bro, the market is crashed. Like, I'm talking crash. You can pretty much do whatever you want with your team. Um, obviously, some cards are rising. Like, I would say the spotlight sim cards are 100% going to rise because they're so rare. I probably pulled, like, 20 of these. I only got one card. I think I got DJ Augustine. That's it. Um, personally really really good set like these cards are all usable they're really good if you had need budget ballers these four are insane these six are insane if you have the money for these two they're crazy good i play with both i sold jaw quickly because i got them early for around like i got them for like 180 i sold them for 200 didn't make any mt but these cards right here are low-key the best cards in the game like no joke I, Kostas is something else. He honestly plays like Giannis. And honestly, what you should be doing right now is probably if you have a budget squad, I would recommend copying some of those cards to play Triple Threat online. Not only that, if you cop Kostas, you get like Ami Giannis or Diamond Giannis and Thanasis, bro. Like straight up. You get a sick budget squad. Jeff Green, Ruby. Like a Triple Threat team I would recommend for you guys to win a ton of games is Kostas, uh, Jeff Green and a Giannis of some sort that team is insane. They're all long. They're all big They could cover centers. They could cover every position. They all have clamps I would recommend trying it out because they're really good cards um, other than that Obviously people are asking me what should you invest in? There's a lot to invest in there's a lot to talk about and honestly 
you could pretty much as you can see Xerxes just joined my party if you guys know who that is that's kind of crazy um Xerxes is like 130k on YouTube he actually just joined my party about to run some all-star team up if you guys aren't Xbox hit me up you want to buy all-star team up but yo Amethyst filter is obviously money. Some of the investments are went up. If you guys remember, Jahil and Peshaw were at 1,000 to 1,100 MT. And you can honestly snipe them a ton. So this filter is obviously good for investment-wise. Pretty much any Ami that's really cheap right now is worth the investment. Um, I would say Jokic is worth it. Okafor is worth it. Because literally, since ever since they dropped the Spotlight Sims, every card, which is in the current Series 2... These cards have dropped in value, and personally, I think they will go up. Unless they do con continuously drop Spotlight Sims, which is kind of going to happen. But like I said, bro, Jackson Hayes gold, 7,000 MT. What you should be doing right now is selling most of these cards in the set. They're stupid expensive, and you guys could make millions of MT by selling them. I'm honestly... Keeping up here because I might end up grinding for the Oval Harden. We'll see how it goes. I might have my brother grinding for me. But, um, yeah, there's just a lot to be doing. And, honestly, if you really want to lock in these sets and you want to go for collector level, all I have to say is that you shouldn't, bro. Like, I was going over the collector level. Um, This this is, what's, this is what I'm thinking about. So, first off, this is where I'm going to stop. I'm 60, 50 cards away from 100,000 MT, right? After that. We got, this is not worth it, this isn't worth it, this is worth it, obviously, but we're talking about, I'm about to pee, I'm about to have 2,000 cards, I didn't even realize I had that many cards, so, we have 2,000 cards here, and 500 cards to where I'm at is going to be really, really hard to do, and it's going to cost a lot of MT, I could honestly get some bonus too, it's not worth it. Like, if you look at everyone's God Squads, they're not using him anymore. So, I would have to work my butt off to get all the way to D-Wade. Dude, I'm telling you, man. If you really want to do that, I don't know, man. It's not worth it. People have Opal AD. You know how hard you have to get grind to get Opal AD? It's not worth it, bro. I'm telling you, bro. If you really want a good center, go buy Ralph Sampson, Christian Latner, KD at Power Forward, Joel Embiid in the token market. They will, I promise you, I versed AD. I've clamped up AD with Ralph Sampson. I've also versed D-Wade. Clamped up by literally Lance Stevenson. I've pretty much versed every card in the game at this point. And honestly, they're nothing special. Pink Diamond D-Wade's obviously good. I don't like them. So if I don't like the Pink Diamond D-Wade, why would I like the Oval D-Wade? Obviously, he's much better. But it's just my preference. Going for collector level is honestly the biggest waste in my opinion. Like, I'm going to have 2,000 cards, and honestly, I'm not going further than that. Simply just not going further than that. And also, if you think about it, 100,000 MT or 2,000 cards collected is the biggest scam of all time. If you really think about it, that is 500 MT per card that you get back. Um, I think my math's off. Very off. Very off. It's about 50 MT? I don't know. My math is just off, off. But you understand what I'm saying. Um, there's just a lot to talk about. Let me think. We got the market. Honestly, it's crashed. So, like I said, diamond filter, pink diamond filters, money. Some cards you should pay attention to is Hakeem, Aaron Gordon, Zion. All the pink diamonds that are about to go to buyout or that are just above buyout, like Larry Bird, Chris Bosh. All these cards are 110% worth looking out for. Concerning the fact they have a ton of value and they're $99.99. Like, if you see a card that's $99.99 for a buyout, you're going to want to pay attention to it. Another card, obviously, Ralph Sampson, Christian Ladner. They all have a ton of value. And you guys should definitely pay attention to their value. Their value is very big. And by me saying this, obviously, it means something. I always pay attention to cards that go to buyout. Paul George, possibly going to be a buyout soon. If you have him, I would recommend selling him. I feel like an Opal locker code or a Sick Pink Diamond locker code is coming soon. If it does come, we're going to see a huge market crash once they drop some decent codes. The codes have been dropping a bit for packs that you get bronzes, sapphires, silvers, and amethysts. So they're obviously trash. We're also going to see Pink Diamond KD probably drop because he's honestly good, but obviously not as good as Opal KD. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Just some more tips for you guys. Would recommend playing the Triple Threat, staying away from 12-0. And, and without further ado, that's all I got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.